All right, you've heard the saying, everything old is new again, and there isn't a better example of that than the showboat drive-in movie theater in Hockley. It's where our Isaiah Carey tracked down the owner to find out what's attracting thousands of people each weekend to the middle of nowhere. There are snaking lines of cars as far as the eye can see in rural northwest Harris County. They're filled with couples, families, kids, and even pets. This is an easy, fun thing to do. Popcorn, sodas, hot dogs, and lots of hungry people on a Sunday night. They're more than ready for the big show to begin. I had never been until like last year. This is a small treasure, a blast from the past that has made a comeback with a vengeance. A place out in the middle of nowhere where thousands of Houstonians are flocking every weekend just as dusk settles in on the horizon. So I think the experience is a, is a big, big factor in why drive-ins like ours and some of the others around Texas have just really done well. Hi, what do you want to see tonight? Deadpool. This is the Showboat Drive-In Movie Theater in Hockley, Texas. There you go. It's going to be straight ahead on screen two. One of only 15 left in the entire state. One of only 340 or so remaining in the entire country. Believe it or not, this two giant screen facility was opened back in 2006. Owner Andrew Thomas says technology has made the drive-in viable again. With the switch to digital projection, we have all of the same movies that are playing in all of the big theaters. So when people want to come out and see the big new movie like Deadpool opening weekend, we have it. Whereas for a long time, the drive-ins didn't have that. They, they became sort of second-class citizens of the movie market. Drive-ins have come a very long way since the first one opened in 1913 in New Mexico. Some families are opting out of the 20 and 30 screen multiplexes for reasons you may say, hey, that makes sense. We have an eight month old. Uh, she can get loud at times. You know, that's frowned upon in a normal movie theater, so that's why we came here. For Christopher McCrary and his wife Trish, all they had to do was load up in the family vehicle with their baby and make it a Valentine's date night out for the small price of $7 a person. <laughs> for that amount at the showboat, they get not one, but two movies on the big screen. I enjoy it because now we don't have to drop her off at the sitter, we can bring her and have it as one whole family night instead of trying to make time for both. Thomas says drive-ins are about an experience, and that's exactly what you get at the showboat. From teen couples awkwardly going on that first date to older folk who are getting a piece of nostalgia like David Wright. Yeah, as kids, you know, I grew up in Houston too, so we had plenty of drive-ins around town, and we'd go quite regular. Wright loaded up his grandkids and let them experience Kung Fu Panda like he would have about 40 years ago. He says there is something special about the drive-in that makes movie going a different world for the kids. So how's the family enjoying it? They're, they're liking it. I've, I've been in here waiting for food for 25 minutes, but they're out there watching, so that's what we're here for. So are all these people, a sea of cars and pickup trucks where all you have to do is tune your radio to the right frequency, sit back, and enjoy the show. Some stories coming out about how the movie business is dying, and I think what's really happening is that bad movie theaters are going out of business as they should. The economics graduate says it's a business he loves, and the financial success of Showboat has shown him the old school form of entertainment is still a draw. Now he plans to expand at the Hockley location with a third screen and a new drive-in further south of Houston. We were looking to buy land uh, in Brazoria County in between Alvin and Pearland uh, to build a location and now that we have this kind of set up uh, going the way that we, that we need it to go, we're kind of turning our eyes back towards that. So there you have it. The drive-in is back. Showboat is an example how everything old is new again. It's also a sharp reminder that old-fashioned entertainment with just two giant screens can still draw families and millennials if just for one night in the middle of nowhere. With photographer John Starling, Isaiah Carey, Fox 26 News.